Hello guys, welcome to my Wedja TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf il anbiya wal mursaleen, nabiyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa tabiina wa man tabiahum bi ihsanin ila yomiddin wa ba'd. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we thank him for everything he has given us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us in every single way. Remember when you help someone, Allah helps you. We know the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, powerful narration, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks through the blessed lips of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why we say this is because Allah says, وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ He does not utter from his desires and whims and fancies. No, it is indeed revelation. It is inspired. It is something that comes from Allah. So when he says, مَنْ نَفَّسَ عَمْ مُؤْمِنٍ كُرْبَةً مِّنْ كُرَبِ الدُّنْيَا نَفَّسَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ كُرْبَةً مِّنْ كُرَبِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ You need to know what it means and you need to know it is valid. It means whoever assists a fellow believer in dire need, a kurba is that which is so severe and so serious that it requires special care and attention. It requires assistance. If you help your brothers and sisters in that particular condition of dire need and you've gone out of your way to alleviate their suffering in any way, Allah says, if that happened in this world, you need to know that we will alleviate your suffering on the day of judgment. What an easy way of preparing for the day of judgment. One of the ways is to find people who are suffering in a big way and alleviate their suffering. You've heard of an earthquake. You've heard of a tsunami. You've heard of people who are homeless and you reached out to them and you went and even if you helped one person, you are included in this hadith. Subhanallah. Even if you have gone out, for example, somewhere across the globe, far or near, and you have helped those in dire need, alleviated their suffering in one way, even in a small way, put a smile on their faces, make them feel you are not alone, we are with you. Subhanallah. You will find on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reach out to you and Allah will call you out by name. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will create ease for you and me on that day. May we be from amongst those who can help one another. That hadith continues. Very beautiful, powerful quotation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wherein he started off by making mention those in dire need. Then he says, Whoever creates any form of ease, Man yassara am mu'asirin, yassara Allahu lahu fi dunya wal ukhra. Whoever creates ease. Now this is not making mention of that which is dire, but any form of ease. Whoever creates any form of ease for their brethren, Allah will create ease for them in this world as well as in the next. So do you want ease in your problems? Well, create ease in the lives of others and you will have ease in your issues. We ask Allah to bless you all and to bless us all. Jazakumullahu khaira wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallah bihamdi, subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.